Fear and uncertainty can often sabotage a potentially good relationship. If you're worried or afraid he doesn't like you and so that you hold back, close off, he senses that, he holds back, he closes off, and then what was possibly a connection between the two of you actually just fizzles out and dissolves away. Knowing whether or not he's into you or not gives you the confidence to open up and lean in, which is a critical ingredient for helping that relationship catch fire and evolve. So today I'm gonna to share with you five things he will say when he is emotionally attached to you. Check it out. Hey, this is Matt Boggs, and I'm the founder of the Love and Relationship Division of the Brave Thinking Institute, and our mission is increasing love in the world one heart at a time. So if you're not yet subscribed to this channel, take a moment and subscribe to that button if you like this video, because every week we put out videos to empower you in your love life. So number one is, I miss you. I miss you is a bit of a vulnerable thing to say because it shows that you're having feelings for that other person. It shows that you're thinking about them when they're not around. It shows that you would rather be with them than without them because in some ways life is better with them than without them and it risks the rejection of them not feeling the same way, that they're not missing him. So when he says he misses you, it's a great demonstration because it comes from the heart and it comes from that emotion of being attached to you. Number two, is just stay. Just stay the night. I don't want you to leave. Even more important, just stay the morning. Let's have breakfast together. I don't want you to go home or just stay the afternoon. Just stay the entire day. Just stay. The guy who's not emotionally attached to you after you spend the night, what's he saying? He's saying, um, I gotta leave or I gotta work. When are you planning on leaving? And he wants you to separate. The guy who's emotionally attached to you can't get enough of you. He doesn't want you to leave. He doesn't want to be without you. Think about it. When you say just stay, it's because you're anticipating if they leave, you're going to miss them. He's emotionally attached to you. He's anticipating that when you leave, he's going to miss you. He's going to feel that pain and he would rather just be with you. Just stay is a great phrase that shows that your man is emotionally attached and he wants more time with you. Number three is a bit subtle and it's how is that? How is that? What does that phrase mean? How is that? Is your man trying to get inside of your experience of life? A man who's emotionally attached to you wants to know how your experience is. He takes you to dinner. He wants to know how the food is. He takes you for a walk. He wants to know, how do you like this? He takes you to a movie. How'd you like that movie? The man who is not emotionally attached to you really doesn't ask you that question because it's all about him. He doesn't really care what your experience is like. It's all about him. The man who is emotionally attached to you wants to get deep inside your mind, inside your heart, inside your experience. There's a great example of this in a movie called City of Angels with Nicolas Cage and Meg Ryan. And the two of them are grocery shopping. And then they go to sit down at this table to eat and she pulls out this pear and she's eating this pear and he looks at her and he said, how is that? And she looks at the pear and she says, you've never eaten a pear before? You don't know what a pear tastes like? And he says, no, I wanna know what a pear tastes like to you. And it's a great example of a man trying to get inside of his woman's full experience because he's emotionally connected to her. Now, if you would love to attract a man like this, I have something that I would love to share with you. Over the past 10 years, I've developed a proven system called Manifest Your Man that literally hundreds of women from around the world, whether women in their 30s to their 70s, have used this system to attract a man who has this level of caring, this level of love, this level of emotional openness for them. So if you're wanting to manifest your man, this just might be the most important class you ever take in your life. I'm gonna put a link in this video and in the description for you to explore it. Check it out. If you would love to have a conversation of how can this program support you in creating the relationship that you really want in your life, click the link, check that out because I would love to work with you and to support you in manifesting your man. All right, let's keep going. Number four is be careful. Be careful is an interesting one and it's a powerful one because be careful shows that your man's feelings for you are evolving because he wants you to be safe because he doesn't want to lose you. He wants you to be around because he wants you to 
he wants to be with you. Be careful as you know, you're going on a drive and it might be rainy or it might be snowy and he says, hey, be careful. Do you have change? Do you have this? This is your man's natural instinct to try to protect you. Maybe you're going on a girl's weekend to a national park and he's saying, hey, be careful. Watch out for these trails or watch out for these rattlesnakes. This is your man's emotional attachment saying, I don't want you to get hurt because your pain now becomes his pain. And number five. Now, before I give you this last one, number five, I want you to stay to the end because I have a caveat to this one that's very important. Number five is, I love you. Now, the I love you line is a very big deal. It's a very big line that every couple crosses when they both feel enough, number one, emotional connection, but number two, enough safety to actually say that phrase. Why is that such a big line? Why is that such a big deal? It's such a big deal because I love you means I've opened my heart enough to really let you in and now you can hurt me. The I love you line is scary because the other person can hurt you if they don't treat that relationship and treat you with love and respect and protect the connection that both of you have. But it's also for the same reason that much more powerful. That I love you line is so powerful because it does mean I've let you in and I deeply love you, and now we're connected at an entirely new level. And here's the caveat. Men will often wait to say I love you until they're sure that you love them or they're sure that the moment is right. One of my clients in the Manifest Your Man program was dating this guy for six weeks. She felt like she was falling in love with him, but he hadn't said those words to her yet. And so she started to get rattled, she started to get nervous, she started to move into fear. And she was about to pull away from the relationship and about to sabotage the connection because he hadn't said, I love you. And so I was working with her and I said, well, let me ask you this. Has he shown up in this way, in this way, in this way? And I was going through all the things that a man will do and say, how he will show up if he's in love with her, even before he said, I love you. And she said, yes, he's done that, he's done that, he's done that. And I said, well, take a deep breath and just be in the moment and relax because he's showing up in love just because he hasn't said the word yet. Two weeks later, she gets back on the line and she goes, Matt, I am so happy, I'm so thrilled, I'm so glad that I had that coaching call and I relaxed and just really leaned into the moment because this last weekend he showed up at my apartment with flowers, sat me down on the couch and told me how deeply and madly in love with me he was and that he'd been feeling this way for a month, he just didn't wanna say it too early to scare me off. And she said she laughed and hugged him and kissed him and it was just one of the most beautiful relationship moments of her life. So there you have it. Five things a man will say when he's emotionally attached to you. I would love to hear from you. What have you heard a man say when he's emotionally attached to you? Post that in the comment section below. I'd love to check those out. And again, if you're not part of this community, become part of it by clicking the subscribe button and clicking that little bell to get the reminders because every week we come out with videos to empower you in your love life and you are a part of an amazing group of women who are increasing their ability to give and receive love in their lives. I appreciate you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.